So we're talking about uh, Darius Crooks, uh, a.k.a. Darius Cooks, how he's known on the Internet. And one of the things I wanted to uh, clarify is, well, not even clarify, but update on, is remember when we talked about this story that was trending last week of Darius Crooks supposedly outing, as some media outlets were uh, incorrectly reporting his his lover. And I was saying, that's not a lover. That's somebody who blew his back out um, and, you know, walked away or whatever. And for some reason, when he supposedly saw this, allegedly saw this guy's post, I'm sure he was stalking like, what he up to? He not he not returning my calls um, and we're returning my text messages. Because, again, we got here. We did this. Now, I'm not going all the way back. If you missed this, we did a deep dive of debunking and breaking down his gas Darius Crooks gaslighting lies as we do all the time over here when we do these stories. Uh, but this here is uh, a text message exchange between Darius Crooks and someone who did not be, want to be bothered with him, some guy he was dating. What I was saying was I didn't think that this text message, and this is what Darius posted, y'all. I ain't post this stuff. I'm just giving y'all the uh, D, uh debunking the lies because that he does for clicks and views but um this this is a post that he put out saying y'all i'm over um oh here it is it's up there now y'all i'm so over dating it's not even funny after this date tomorrow i'm done trying here's a text message from this morning y'all gotta see this listen this is it i've come to the conclusion i'll be single for the uh, forever and i'm uh fine with that and then there was more but i didn't i didn't click on it so anyway he he shared this message where he's been a stalker he's telling this guy all these dates that the guy uh that darius reached out to the guy but the guy didn't respond and all these other things i'm like he's not that into you he's just not into you and so move on this is not necessary to do all this not only do you do all that but then you post it to social media to for what for what purpose you're making yourself look very pitiful and desperate so anyway he did that, but then two days later, he posts this about this guy, and we were over here discussing whether or not it was the same guy, and I, I told y'all that I was really leaning towards it's not the same guy, because this was clearly from the text message exchanges. This is, this is the text message exchanges between the guy I just showed y'all, the photo, and Darius Crooks, and it says, um, and this is only part of it because I, I end up getting more of this text message later. But anyway, the part I have here for y'all says I just showered. Now, this is the guy uh, responding to Darius. There are no times and stuff on here. Makes it look very suspect. But, you know, that's the gaslighting tricks and stunts that Darius Crooks does. Anyway, it says um, the guy is saying to Darius, I just showered when I when I got in from the gym. So I can so so I can really leave out. Now, GPS says 30 minutes, but I need to stop and get gas. Crooks, Darius Cooks says, cool, I'll be here. So the guy says around 1 a.m. This to me was an immediate, okay, this is this is a hookup. You, you try to get your back blown out uh, before you go to bed. And uh, Crooks responds, works for me. The guy says, cool beans. Darius hearts it because he's like, oh, I'm about to get my back blown out. And then uh, the guy, uh, Darius Crooks, now some time has passed and he's just like, um, oh, my God, he's not here yet. My back is ready to get blown out. And he says, Crooks sends the guy saying, what's your ETA? So we know enough time has passed because somebody say they'll be there around 1 a.m. Obviously, this is after 1 a.m. at this point. If, if he's now saying, what's your ETA? Because if he already told you 1 a.m. and it's not 1 a.m. yet, you, 1 a.m. yet, you're not going to say, what's your ATM? Now, if it's 120, 130, 140, you say, hey, what's your ETA? What's happening? I'm ready to get my baby on that. So the guy then says 33 minutes. Crook says, okay. Uh, the guy says he's leaving the gas station now. And then uh, Crooks says, okay. And uh, so then Crooks is uh, waiting and wait, lying and wait uh, to get his back blown out. So his back got blown out. And then... He got his him feelings hurt because obviously the guy um, was not impressed with his lazy lay. 
because that's all he's able to give is lazy lays. Let's not forget. And he runs into, so he says he was just happens to be scrolling. I'm thinking he was searching. He's desperate. He was searching. What's this guy up to? Let me see if he's been posted because he ain't responding to me. Y'all know, y'all know how this works. You're talking to somebody or something or somebody you ain't heard from in a while. Or you like, wait a minute, it's been two days. They never responded to my message. You're like, let me see if they on social media. Because if you got time to respond to social media and post stuff, you got time to respond to my text message. That's what I get. I get the vibe that the dude was ghosting him. He was a Darius Crooks was a lazy lady. The guy was like, this is one night saying I ain't kept no way. And he wasn't answering. And Darius Crooks was like, let me see if he on social media because he's not responding. He acting like he's busy. He's not responding to my text. Line. And he saw this and him feelings got hurt and he got depressed about it. And so he having the platform and being able to gaslight people and create narratives was like, I'm going to make this like I um, uh, he was riding me. Hence this post. Uh, could y'all remove that comment from me? Thank you. Um, hence this post. Hold on. I'm going to take it down myself. Okay, here we go. He says, y'all be careful out there. It is wild out there. I was casually, scro casually scrolling. No, you was searching the guy because he was ignoring you. He had ghosted at your lazy land. And so uh, he said this uh, and the guy that was riding me. Three, H, three inches of sadness, impossible, scientifically impossible to ride three inches of sadness. We know that. But again, he's gaslighting. He says, the guy that was riding me uh, the other week is now on vacation. So his feelings was hurt. So he decides to out a guy who we don't know again. Might be bisexual. His woman might know. She might be bisexual. We don't know. It was a hookup. I told y'all this, though. I told y'all. So I'm coming back today. Again, that was an overview. Y'all want more? Go to the original video from last week. And it says something like, uh, no pride. I don't know how to name them. Uh, Cyberbully. I think it's Cyberbully on this channel. And that's the highlight. And on our Reality Chronicles, that's the full two and a half hour live. <laughs> was an hour and a half or something, two hour live stream. That one's called No Pride. So if you want to unfilter everything, go over there to the Reality Chronicles. Anyway, so as usual, I told y'all I come with the receipts. He can he he can gaslight y'all all he want, but all I'm gonna keep doing is coming with the receipts. He can gaslight about me being some uh, bitter ex friend and and life is incomplete or whatever he want to say. This is what I do for a living. I tell a story. We just talked about a new commentary. We just did commentary on Russell Simmons. I don't know Russell Simmons. I ain't got nothing against Russell Simmons. This is just the work I do. And it's the same with this. He's just a story at this point because he's it's something to cover. It's commentary. Anyway, we have this clip here. I'm gonna call y'all back. Let me. So I told y'all I was just a hookup, meant nothing. So then when you find out this, it's like, well, why do that? Why do all that to some random person? But anyway, here's a receipt. This um I don't know, y'all. This was a day or two ago. I don't know. This was, Now, this one was on Twitter, and I thank you for uh, all of our Twitter coalition people who be grabbing this stuff that I don't see. Um, but they recorded this to say that he was just cyberbullying someone who blew his back out who didn't want anything to do with him anymore because he's a lazy lay. All right, I'm going to call y'all back. Let me um, talk to my guests and stuff and sign books and all that stuff. And then I'm going to go take my edibles. I said I'm going to. I don't take edibles before this. That could be no good. I took it last week before this because I had depression. But other than that, I had to pause on that part because I caught this too. We ain't got to the the receipt part of what I just told y'all yet. But uh, he says he was suffering from depression last week. Wouldn't wouldn't last week also be when you probably was depressed because this uh, guy blew your back out? And he didn't want to be bothered with you. And he was ghosting you. And you was like, I give up on dating. I'm probably going to be lonely and single the rest of my life. Now, you, and then you needed edibles to get through it. It's the karma 
in your life because of how you're treating everybody. I feel Velnito trying to come through and he got to go back. <laughs> Not today. Anyway, continue. What post are That wasn't last week. I don't know how well y'all can hear this. So I think it's his worker in the background. Uh, I don't know which one, but he's in the background asking Crooks uh, about his post. And uh, he's he's like, what post are you talking about? And the guy says vacation, the vacation post, which is the one I just showed y'all. Uh, the one with the picture of him out in the guy. Again, it's all content for him. So this is Darius Crook's response. That was like two days ago, three days ago. Oh, no, 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 no. Depression don't have anything with being sad. It's a chemical imbalance. That's why I work out like I work out, because the working out helps the serotonin and dopamine to feel good, you know, like that runner's high. That's why. He's such an expert in everything. He's just been working out for 45 days. Now he a fitness and uh, mental health expert. <laughs> the gaslighting is just amazing to me. I do it. No! I'm just a fuck buddy. I fucked up one time. No. Please, no. I'm a hoe. You know that. That's true. Your... Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Do I need to rewind? Let's rewind. Rewind a little bit. Rewind a little bit more. Right a little bit more. Uh, okay, here we go. Why do it? No, I'm just a fuck buddy. I fucked up one time. No, please, no. I'm a hoe. You know that? No, he's just the f buddy. We f one time. You know I'm a hoe. Case closed. Good night, y'all. That's all I got for Roll the credits. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. It was all for clicks and views. I forgot to, the other piece. I Again, tonight's been a little discombobulating. So I should have had the part in here where he also admitted in the live the day of the post coming out that he did it all for clicks and views and to get engagement and he was like it's working because look at all y'all over here watching me in this ig live and it did work it did work so anyway we have that but then again the cyber bullying the um horrible menace to society i think i'm renaming him he's a menace to society and uh that behavior continued well it always continues but we had another situation over the weekend thank you to my source for pointing this out, uh, bringing it to my attention, because otherwise I'd be missing all this stuff, y'all, to be honest. Um, so over the weekend, Crooks was doing his normal, um, he had a Dining with Diarrhea event in Colorado. And while there, he was multitasking with his fake uh, food review tours. Funny how you can review uh, restaurants and yours failed all these health inspections. Like you, you had F ratings at all of your restaurants, but you're qualified to judge other people's restaurants. So, but again, he's a narcissist. So in his world, he's perfect. And everyone else, like the world is flawed, not him. So he goes to this restaurant and uh, the experience was, we, and we've all had experiences uh, at restaurants where there's issues. Uh, this particular experience he had, um, it was a soul food restaurant. It was uh, He was doing dine-in. He sits down with his food, and the part that I caught was uh, he was saying that there was hair in the food, and the plate was dirty. He had to scrape. You know how, like, when they wash plates, sometimes the food doesn't come off of it completely? Um, and so that had happened, so he had a dirty dish, and... He, he claimed that he had killed them off. So I'm assuming that happened because he was on live and he was like, y'all just saw. So it was like something flying around the restaurant or something. So again, many of us have had these kind of situations and we like, you know, we take our food back or we, whatever, or they, we let them resolve the issue, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. So he has this situation, the, and he turns it into content because everything for him is content. Not only is he recording that situation, being there live or whatever, he's just recording it. But um, he's also 
turning this into content. So a misstep by a business owner turns into content where he can drag this business in front of his tens of thousands of do- uh, tens of thousands of followers and negatively impact their businesses. Although he claimed to be doing these reviews to promote black businesses and he only goes to black businesses because the truth is if he tried to pull this ish with white businesses, they would hang his uh, <laughs> uh, tail out to draw. I'm trying not to curse y'all. <laughs> That's why I'm struggling with some of these words. Um, but anyway, so he does this post and he says, I would normally ask your ratings, but after I killed a moth or a grasshopper and picked the hair out of my candy yams, I decided to leave. Oh, the dirty plate with the food uh, I was able to scrape off my scrape off with my nail didn't help. Uh, did it for me too. Don't worry, Corey has it all on tape. Should be an interesting post when he edits it. Stay tuned. I thought you were out here promoting black businesses. Let me get through this part. So he goes from that to let me give you and let me show y'all the video. Let me pull up my uh because I actually doing a little deep dive on this alone. I got some old stuff I could show y'all, I think, or at least speak to. Uh let's see. This it. Okay, this is a uh, hold on. Let me pause it and pull it up and pause it. This is a uh, uh, this is a couple minutes long. So this is Crooks at the moment where it, all of that has occurred. He's still sitting at the table. He's looking at it and he's now deciding in his mind. His wheels are turning. Content, content. What could I do to make this content? So he's now making this content and he's about to, um, yeah. We'll uh, just we'll y'all see. Oh, Lord, what is the sound, y'all? Let me see. Uh Uh-oh. Hold on one second. If... I'm going to describe it because there... There may... There may be no sound on this particular clip and I'll have to uh, dig through my archive. I ain't got time to do that. Anyway, so this is him getting up. He's like... Now he's getting up. I'll just describe what's happening. He's getting up. Now he's uh, he's telling his camera guy. What's the camera guy's name? What did I just say? Whatever the camera guy's name is. He's telling his camera guy that he. Um, wait, hold on. Corey. He's telling Corey, uh, come uh, come with me because you may you want to get this. Um, basically, you want to record this. So now, again, he's not trying to do this discreetly realizing he has a platform etc he's like let me make content for this and again he's on live with 649 people so again for many of you you don't know that he goes on his ig live so instagram live and he live records all of these antics constantly most people don't see these because he deletes these he does what they call a dirty delete so he does his dirt gives them entertainment because some of them love this drama and then he deletes it, never to be seen again, except for those people who are out there uh, screen recording. <laughs> Hence what you got here. So he's up at the counter right now talking to the waitress, not waitress, the cashier. Now, we don't see her right now, but I guarantee you with the final when he put this on YouTube from Corey's video, because his videographer, Corey, is behind him recording. Corey's going to have this woman's face in it or a girl face in it. So Darius Crooks goes up there. He tells the cashier he wants to pay for the food. She sees that it's a full, everything nothing's been touched. And she's like, oh, is there something wrong? You can tell she's younger. He says, yeah, uh, there was this, you know, all the stuff. He describes what was wrong. She was like, oh, I basically no, you know, we can, you don't have to pay, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, no, no, I want to pay. And so her being young and inexperienced, she charged him, I think it was $72, $76.17. So she charges him because he insists on paying for food he ain't touched. This, though, is supposed to make him out to be this great person, but we can all see through this because um, this is all his for clicks and views because now it's like 
Uh, Y'all see how great of a person I am, even with bad service, et cetera. I didn't pay this. And then he tipped on top of that. He tipped $20, all for clicks and views. In addition, I hate I don't have the sound for, for y'all, but again, this is the joys of going live <laughs> versus my pre-records. So he goes out. Uh, let me pull this down. So, again, this is all for engagement, clicks, and views. He ends up posting this on social media immediately. Um, now, in his live, you'll see some of the DHAGs that are reasonable, caring human beings are saying, don't post this, um, you know, on, on social media because the owner ran, ran out of the restaurant to talk to him. Because she didn't, I guess, afterwards, the cashier told her maybe he, he left the food, obviously. And so she's probably like, where all this food coming from? What, what's happening? She tells her the situation. He wasn't happy. He said it was hearing this food. Da, 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 da. And, and he paid. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. He shouldn't be paying for that. She runs out. She catches him. As we see, uh, he's out there. Uh, he's left out the restaurant. Corey was behind him, but Corey had to go back and get his stuff. Because, you know, Darius went to the cashier and then he just left. So Corey's gotten the content. Now Corey's going back to get his stuff at the booth. And Crooks is out there uh, in his live right now telling his followers, oh, I don't know what to do, man. This is why I record stuff because y'all wouldn't believe this happened to me otherwise. Who ain't had uh, a, a unfortunate incident of hearing a food or a dirty plague? I, I, that doesn't seem impossible to me. So the owner runs out while he's doing that. The owner runs out. He doesn't put her on camera, but you hear her voice. She's a, you can tell she's an older black lady. She's uh, asking what happened. Basically, he tells her she's very apologetic. She, you know, explains that, you know, her business has been struggling when in the sense of like, it's just hard to run a restaurant with staffing, et cetera, et cetera. Like she said in the past, she's been around for a long time, she said. But in the past couple of years, it's just been rougher than normal with staffing. And so she says she's even been trying to help like the community. And so she has a special needs person who's in the back in the kitchen washing uh, dishes and stuff because she's trying to help. But she said it's her fault because, you know, it was an oversight. She didn't catch it, et cetera, et cetera. And so she says, um, you know, how do I make it right, et cetera. But and also, like, he said he paid. And she was like, no, no, you shouldn't be paying for this, et cetera. And he's like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. He, she's very apologetic, but it's, uh, and then she was like, well, where, what, what do you do exactly? He then tells her that he's a social media influencer and he goes around, you know, he's giving his resume. And uh, she was like, well, where, where is this going to be? Like, because now she knows that he's, about to trash her business on social media. And so he tells her, you know, like, uh, I'm on, it's going to be on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. No compassion. This woman, and you can hear the pain in her voice from it. I, I hate that I don't have this for y'all to hear. But you can hear the pain in her voice trying to be kind. Like, she was very kind, not accusatory at all. Just kind of like, how can I make this right? And... He immediately, and so you saw people in his, um, you saw people in his live stream saying, oh, she was so kind. Don't put this on social media. You know, things happen, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what he does is literally immediately, because I caught this particular live, within less than 10 minutes, this post that I have up there, he had posted on social media. No care for other people whatsoever. But you're trying to promote black businesses. You care about black businesses. Oh, okay. Because what happened, not good, but it ain't enough to um, blast them to thousands, tens of thousands of people on social media. And he's still going to do the video on it. Wait till y'all see that. So uh, that's where the caption is. You know, he would normally not ask for the ratings, et cetera, et cetera. I read that. So then you see comments. The thing is, and so people are judging the food, the way that it looks, talking about his canned um, candy yams. And the people who are commenting 
are typically not the peop same people who were watching the live stream. This is, again, what happens a lot with everything that he does. Because people don't see the dirt and the dirty deletes that he does like this, and you see the smirking. It's, it's sickening, y'all. The smirking. Does this look like a person who's disappointed or does this look like disappointed and sad that they've had a bad experience with a black owned business when they're only only out there to support black businesses? No, this appear to me, to me, appears to be someone who's very gleeful because they have content because their content ain't food. It ain't cooking because it can't. It's drama. Give me y'all a poll. Does this look like someone disappointed with, with their experience? It look like somebody disappointed with their uh, experience. So he does that. He uh, posts all that. Then to add insult to it, because this is this how you know that he's a grifter and a and a um, cyber bully and a gaslighter. He then posts. So in addition to what I just showed y'all, so the post included this and then multiple pictures of the food, his plates uh, and the drinks and all of that, all of the stuff he did not touch. He then posts a receipt to prove that he paid for food that he was not satisfied with and did not touch. And so he shows that um, the, the total was 76, 17. And I hate that that teenager was there to or younger person was there who didn't know, like, you don't charge a person when they say they're disappointed, no matter how much they insist. He can't make you charge him. Hopefully, they probably reversed the charges. Anyway. I'm sure the owner probably reversed the charges. But then he, in addition, so if you're unsatisfied, why are you tipping $20? You're tipping the 20, or supposedly tipping the $20 to gaslight the situation. And who posts their receipts? Uh, who posts the a receipt of going to a restaurant like this? And people buy into this, y'all. There are people who believe that he is a, a good-hearted, good-natured person. What I found was funny was I saw some comments <laughs> on social media like, that $20 just proved that you're broke <laughs> because that's not the move of a millionaire. They said that uh, Keith Lee, who is a very uh, uh, popular uh, TikToker who does food reviews and doesn't ruin businesses, he, uh, when he tips, he tips like $150 to $100. Funny part was, and I don't know how many of you know of uh, Keith Lee. Let me pull it up. We doing kitchen table talk now, so y'all know how. Keith Lee. TikTok. Give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Let me see. Energy tab. Yes. Okay. Let me share it with y'all. So for those of you who don't know, and I think this old because I think he got way more followers than this. What am I doing? I'll screen share. Window. This is Keith Lee. And so he is a very popular YouTuber, uh, former pro MA, uh, MMA fighter. He's like a shy, humble guy. I love this guy. Um, and he does food reviews. He goes to different restaurants and then goes home and reviews the food. And it's just in such a humble way that he's attracted people uh, and he's attracted national attention. He's been on Good Morning America and all kind of other press. Everything that Crooks wants. Crooks claims. Now, Crooks is been in social media. He's been in social media for well over a decade. He studies social media. Crooks claims, and I forgot, this This man has, because I want to let y'all know, hold on. So I swear he has like a ton more 
followers than he had uh, back then on TikTok. Keith Lee now, because yeah, I knew this was old. This at this point, he had eight hundred and fifty nine thousand followers on TikTok. As of today, he has thirteen million followers on TikTok, and I don't know how many of you watch TikTok all that, but that's huge. That's huge on TikTok. And someone in Darius Crooks' comments, um, and again, I have all these receipts, but I'm just talking off the cuff at the, in the moment. They mentioned Keith Lee and asked. If Darius Crooks um, asked him to collab, like, have you considered collabing with Keith, Keith Lee? And <laughs> Darius Crooks said he doesn't know who Keith Lee is. <laughs> he was like, I'm sorry, but I don't know who Keith Lee is. I swear if I really ha like had the, <laughs> a research team to search through all the video evidence we have i'm like i feel like i heard him mention keith lee before or people talk about him in the chat etc and him respond and he says he didn't know who Keith. i'm like he is such a lying gaslighter let's let's do this poll question uh this guy who has 13 million followers and is in the same industry and that's how the algorithm works as i explained to y'all earlier the al algorithm is going to show you things in the niches that you are interested in and the things that you follow he follows social media cooks, and even though he tries to act like he doesn't, he he follows people because he copies. He's copying what he's doing. I mentioned all that to say he's copying Keith Lee's model. The problem is he's not a good human being. And so his social skills, now he's able to fake social skills, but in reality, he doesn't have the social skills and the more morality to be able to pull off what Keith Lee actually does. Um do you think there he is Brooks. new who uh -oh. was I'm saying basically, do you think that Darius Crooks knew who Keith Lee was prior to that person asking him to do a, a collaboration with him when he claimed that he didn't know? Uh, my poll question, I saw somebody saying they didn't understand the question, but I'm not sure exactly why. Um, but they, my question was, does this. Oh, it's a typo. That's why. Does this look like someone disappointed with their experience? Ninety two percent of you said no. 7% of you say yes. Okay, when you're disappointed, you smile. <laughs> disappointed, okay. I mean, people respond to um, things differently. Uh, but yeah, that was the bulk of it. Let me see what I had in this. Uh, but again, that, my point was, um, and only to, to show y'all, because a lot of this stuff happens. There's someone on Twitter, well, they're on multiple platforms, but there's someone who's keeping track of a, a calendar, a 2023 calendar, where they're posting uh, every drama that he that Crooks has each month. So whatever the big, I don't have it handy, but whatever, because every month, for, for he's a stunt queen, every month he has something happening for engagement, clicks and views, some kind of drama every month. And so all the way up to now we're in June, <laughs> they have a major thing. We'll have to talk cover because I don't have it handy. I wish I had it handy. Wait, hold on. Let me let me ask this question. Y'all, y'all answer that. Y'all. Uh-oh, that's wrong. Do y'all have time for to find the calendar. Uh, find. Do y'all have time for me to find Crook's drama camera? Uh, and based on y'all vote, then either we'll get ready to end this live or uh, y'all give me a couple minutes and I'm going to give y'all a commercial break and I'm going to find the calendar. Then I'm going to 
give a quick little overview. <laughs> Y'all love the mess. <laughs> Y'all love me. If you don't have um what y'all love is me uh, giving the receipts on on this uh, criminal enterprise, uh, the scampire ran by Darius Crooks. Uh, we're at ninety eight percent. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all this uh, Vel Nito commercial again trailer, and then uh, I'm gonna find. It. I should be able to find it really quick because I, I remember seeing it. For one, I screenshot it, but I'll probably find it quicker just by going to the post. So let me do that. I'm gonna play this for y'all, and hopefully, I have it by the time I come back. Smoke my partner like reef. Dime lo por qué o no entiendo mi gente must really need Jesus. He said real blood. I never seen the crypt and I believe it. It's too easy. Too, too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. Too, it's too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. Y'all just talk, don't live it And just took that route, that seen it And I'm so outspoken like reason Jimmy Neutron, boy, young G's And I'm a self-made man I actually interviewed Darius uh, Cooks on my radio show. Um, I've been five or six years ago before the whole, he blew up on social media. And um, just this was just articulated. He actually went on Periscope Live during the radio show. It is his own show in the studio during the show that he was supposed to be on. But he's a narcissistic individual. And because of that, he's had many of these run-ins. I think there was a scandal a few years ago where he was doing fake credit repair for people and got sued. Um, his restaurant got closed down, those sorts of things. I'm back. <laughs> Look at God. I was nervous at first because um, it was taking me longer than I thought. And I, yeah, I was doing a lot of scrolling. Um, but... Here's the count that I'm gonna be blocking my face sometimes. So I don't, you know, I don't know the original source of this. And then I don't always know who's okay with their name being out, et cetera. And so that's why I'm hesitant to say. But thank you to the person who creates this um, calendar and they track it every month. I think it was a brilliant idea. And I'm working on some stuff that's um, this this sparks some some ideas. But this is the 2023 calendar of Darius Crooks. Um, Tricks and stunts, drama. And they um, it started in January. We got February, March, April, May, and June. Literally every month there was some drama. And so we're going to start with January. So in, oh, I can't see. It's so small. Hold on, y'all. Because I thought this was one thing, but I think it's something else. Oh, okay, great. 
I'm glad I'm glad there was a caption for me to see because I couldn't remember. Um, so January, do let me put it, let me put it in the poll. Uh-oh. Do you remember? Granda Mahala drama. So do you remember the drama when Grandma Holla, the social media influencer who passed away, um, she was, you know, popular because she would be cursing and all of that and talking crazy. And um, she passed away and her family started a GoFundMe. And Darius Crooks took to his social media to critique the family and dog them um, publicly for doing a GoFundMe saying basically she had this many millions followed. Now, again, he don't follow nobody. He don't know about Keith Lee with 13 million followers, but he know about Grandma Holla who had, I think, just barely hit a million followers. And so he was um, basically dragging the family for starting a GoFundMe saying, what did they do with that money? And this is the problem with black people. You know, we own him. Uh, we don't take care of our business, all these kind of things. So he, he took it as a moment to get on a soapbox and become a fake preacher. And um, the family, <laughs> the, 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 I think it was the granddaughter, snapped back on him. It, it, it The story did trend. Again, that's all he wants. It's all for clicks and because he could have kept his mouth quiet about it or, I mean, have conversations about it to your friends, even on your IG live. Fine. Over there. But he posted about it and did it on his IG Live and it became a thing. He loves it. He loves the drama. Oh, he loves it. Stunt Queen. 67% uh, of you said that you remember, 32% of you don't. Well, I just gave a quick little overview. I did not cover. So, again, like I told y'all in the, uh, when we talked about the bye guy situation, the Darius getting his back blown out and getting ghosted, um, I don't chase his stories. <sighs> Now I might just start covering them because I now see how many people don't see this stuff and don't really know who he is. And so if he wants to continue to behave uh, like a predator, let's just and he wants engagement. This does give him engagement. He wants engagement. Let's have him out. So, OK, so that was January's drama. Then in Jesus, I hate these are like this. I'm at the. I can't see it, y'all. Anybody remember what happened in February? Because that's the only thing about this calendar. It doesn't. Lord, they mad. No one can. I have no idea what this one is. So in February, something happened as well. Um, yeah, and they don't list them out or anything anywhere. That would be my only recommendation is that we put a little caption so we know what they mean. Okay. Anyway, that happened. <laughs> Something happened. And I had to come back to y'all uh, on that. Again, I don't follow him as much as people think that I really be following him like I don't. So, like, I don't know off the top of my head. I have to look back. Then we had in March. Yeah. In March, something happened. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, something happened, but they just got colors. Uh, but there was drama in March. Then we get to April. Uh, April, I know what happened. If y'all remember what happened, put it in the chat. That Because I'm pretty sure I've heard of it. Maybe. Um, so if you know what happened in February and March with uh, Crook's drama, let me know. So then in April, we know uh, the Juanito situation happened. So again, we just talked about the situation with the restaurants in... Um, uh, I'm looking at three, that girl, Steph, two. What does that mean? March is be a snack. Oh, oh, okay. Be a snack. <laughs> Can you put spaces? <laughs> I'm like, what kind of word is be a snack? Okay, thank you so much for that, uh, three, that girl. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, okay, we'll go back. So then in March, um, he started, oh, that's what those are supposed to be. Yeah, in these captions, that would be my only, um, I mean, it ain't my thing. Thank you. The idea is brilliant, but the caption will help. Because, again, we have to keep in mind that people who are 
looking at these things, the people who, you know, you're trying to expose him. And so you're trying to, and I see this a lot. You're trying to get, you're trying to expose him and you're trying to get people who don't really know what he's up to and think they only see what he's given on the surface. You're trying to show them all this stuff that's really happening, but they don't know from a thumbnail what that means. So you got to put a caption um, and be more detailed than like the receipts and all the stuff that gets shared. Um, but anyway, so this um, be a snack was uh, March where he started a adult toy line and which I think he's not even selling on now because he couldn't he couldn't he got kicked off of um, I think Shopify. I can't remember which platform one of them kicked him off. He claims that they don't process uh, adult toy line sales through there. Um, eh, I don't know if I believe that. However, so he was saying he was trying to find a new uh, payment method. People were recommending PayPal. He said he don't F with PayPal. PayPal don't fuck, uh, F, sorry. <laughs> PayPal don't F with him because of the fact that he did scams on PayPal years ago. So he can't get on PayPal. Um, then, um, so anyway, so it's not being, as I last I knew, y'all let me know in the chat. Last I knew, it wasn't being sold uh, anymore. He was trying to find a new payment system or whatever. He was working on it or whatever. Um, the crazy part is he started this adult toy line because he has these, and it's like a, they have like a, a group on Facebook and all this stuff where they talk nasty and all of that. And he's putting sweaty pictures of himself and talking about what he's done with the toys and his experience. Um, but he's done all of that um, on his IG live. So now it's he's prof, uh, profiting off of it. Everything's for engagement and and potential uh, capital. In that way, it's smart. Uh, the thing that I find interesting is that he always talks about how gross style he is about women and ha knows nothing about a woman's anatomy, doesn't ever want to know anything about it, don't want to be near it, et cetera, et cetera. But then in the next breath, you're selling the same women with that anatomy that you're appalled by adult toys <laughs> it's it's a, a mind f that he's over there doing with the love bomb and et cetera et cetera what just happened to, oh my computer's taking over hold on y'all getting messages that should not be popping up get out of here just remove my whole uh screen hold on y'all because i can't see y'all no more okay um, okay, so that was, uh, what month was that? That was March. So then February, I think I just saw somebody say something about February. Oh, thank you. Fe uh, February is when the New Orleans guy copied his dinner party fire. Thank you so much, uh, Three That Girl Steph. Um, so in February, this is when there was a up and coming social media influencer slash chef cook who was starting to do his dinner parties. Now, Crooks wants to uh, claim that he dinner parties was his brilliant idea. Not the case. He copied it from, um, who was it? Two Girls and a Goat here in Chicago. They started doing dinner parties over a decade ago. And there's actually an uh, audio uh, clip of him on a podcast he used to do with Zeta Cooks here in Chicago. This is before anybody knew who Darius was. And on it, uh, Zita asked him, she said, oh, because it was a podcast about food and cooking and yeah, foodie stuff. And so she's like, oh, uh, have you heard about uh, Three Girls and a Goat? They're doing dinner parties uh, now. So like they're hosting dinner parties in residential spaces, et cetera, et cetera. He says, no, I haven't heard about that, but that's the stupidest idea ever. <laughs> Fast forward. What was that? Fast forward probably six, seven years later, he's now doing dinner parties. And now fast forward, you know, a decade more later, he's now acting like he invented the idea of uh, dinner parties. Craziness. So now anyone who does a dinner party, again, he ain't created, but anyone who does a dinner party is copying off of him. What? So we got this young guy uh, in his 20s, uh, young 20s. He starts to do these. Uh, his his dinner parties are more like uh, seafood boards, from what I, what I've seen. So he does his dinner party, but he obviously watches Darius Crooks, like you know, few people do, and he copied 
He took the flyer. And this is stuff that when you're young, you don't know better. You know, you make these missteps. So he took the template of Darius Crooks's uh, flyer for his dining with diarrhea events and copied it almost verbatim, like text and all this other stuff. And the design was the same. Darius's is, is like Canva or clip art. So it's not like an original design. The guy used that design and then, uh, but he did like plagiarize what was there. He copied without changing enough stuff. So you could clearly see that he got it from Darius Crooks. Darius reached, I don't know if Darius actually reached out to him personally. It's been a minute. But long story short, instead of handling that behind the scenes, like I've had people still, yeah, copyright or steal things, plagiarize things from me. I have had it happen. Have y'all ever heard me talk about it? Have y'all ever heard me call out any other YouTuber or social media person for taking my things? No, I handle it behind the scenes. Kindly ask them to remove it, et cetera, et cetera, which is what I've done. And then learn to like watermark your stuff so you don't have it happen as much. Um, but again, everything is for engagement with crooks. And so what he does instead, I didn't realize I'm keeping y'all so late, but what he does instead is he um, blasts the young guy out to his social media, makes a big deal about it. The guy immediately apologizes and changes the flyer, et cetera. Crooks gets on his high horse, gets on his IG lives and talks about how it's unacceptable to steal for, from people. Gaslighting. And he's a narcissist. He's so detached from reality because we literally have over a decade long track record of you stealing from people. The cookbook that he currently has out, people have literally found the recipes on the Food Network's website, in other cook, in other um, major uh, food related platforms where he plagiarized their recipes. We have the recipes that he's become famous, for, well, popular for the soul food cake documented that I've done videos over here on that, but documented that he stole that recipe from a young lady <laughs> she had been doing the cake uh all kind of stuff and so you writing this young man who is learning the ropes when you could have handled that behind and i'm like okay i can let him even go with saying something publicly whatever it wasn't even necessary because your platform is way bigger all of that but let's go let's go with that but the fact that he could get on a soapbox and try to dog this young man for plagiarizing when you literally built your whole following on plagiarizing and stealing from people on so many levels, it's like mind blowing. He's a horrible human. You're a horrible human being. I know you're watching because you were just over there talking about me. So now you can get off so you can talk, uh, so you can see what I'm saying. Um, okay, so in oh, in April, so now we 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 got through February and March, and thank you so much again for that. Um I'm so bad with names, y'all, but uh, who, 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 um, the person who commented and told me that, I appreciate you. Starlight something, I think it was. Um, so then in April, we know because I did cover this again. So we didn't have, again, I don't chase the stories. I didn't cover January story. I didn't cover February story. I didn't cover March story. I did cover April story. April was when I was like, this is just ridiculous. Like, cause again, I'm seeing all this stuff and there's more. Those were like the main big, you know, um, big stories those months. Then we got uh, Juanito, Darius Crooks did what he just did this weekend. He went to a restaurant. I forgot what city that was off the top of my head. Goes there, doesn't get the best of service. They were, uh, he had to wait on his lobster tail because they had ran out of lobsters. Um, and somebody had to go get it from the other restaurant. It was coming or something. Um, the Juanito was two or three days into his job, he was inexperienced, couldn't answer some of the particular questions about the menu, didn't know how to switch up things because Darius will always go as long as I even knew him. Never order straight from the menu the way things come. He always has to adjust because again, he's a narcissist. The world has to revolve around him. He needs to control the situation. Nothing's ever good enough the way that it comes. He got to could you do this with it? Could you do that? Could you substitute this? All that. Always been like that. So um, he didn't get the best service in that way because Juanito was new. The manager wasn't the best because uh, manager walked away versus sitting there to make sure everything went smooth. All that. Fine. Again, just like this past weekend, 
Uh, Riley, thank you so much. Uh, Chanel, uh, 218. Um, so just like this past weekend, whether we can say, I'm not saying that the service was perfect and he just making it up completely, but the level that he takes it to is where we get ridiculous. So same thing with the Juanito situation. He was recording. He's recording in people's faces without asking permission. Somebody put a camera in most people's faces, especially when you can tell it's a videographer. It's going to make most people nervous. And, and also, like, I'm not giving you permission. Where is this going? Where are you putting my image out at? So um, Darius does his regular antics, goes and gets on his live, IG live. Now, he was on live the whole time. No, he wasn't on live the whole time. He got on live later, if I'm not mistaken. But he got on live and then told the story, his version, and was dragging uh, Juanito. Juanito then um, hears about this some kind of way. He then gets um, he then gets on there and then says Juanito comes back at him. Basically, it begins to be a back and forth. Juanito was dragging him, rightfully so, calling him raccoon eyes, saying he had swollen ankles, um, saying his demeanor was stank, which it was. All of these things. All truthful said that he had a bunch of uh, um, senior citizen followers, <laughs> like all kind of stuff. So um, Darius and his followers then harass the the restaurant, etc. Fast forward, uh, Juanito ends. I was about to say Belnito. Juanito ends up getting uh, terminated. What I saw someone comment, and I just never know because people just be commenting left and right, and they sometimes be giving out misinformation, and so I take everything with a grain of salt. But so I did see someone say that uh, Juanito got his job back. Uh, and this was like a couple of weeks ago. I saw that. I'm not sure if that's true at all. But uh, so that was a yeah, we give an overview. I ain't finna get deep dive on that. So and then hence <laughs> Velnito was then uh, unleashed <laughs> from from that situation. Then and, and I just saw Marianne. Marianne, I don't know what. Oh, April. Uh, put that because somebody put that back up. <laughs> uh, because I'm clicking too many things, I don't want to click out of where I'm at. Uh, Marianne was saying, I just saw it. what month was the fish sandwich? So, Darius Crooks in the month of I, I want to say it's April because it was for Lent or is it March? <laughs> Let me know <laughs> when it's Lent. I know I now, now sound like an ignorant Christian, uh, but um, for Lent. Um, the Arby's fish sandwich was going viral. Now that's not on here, but this was other drama that was being created, uh, clicks and views engagement for, from Darius Crooks. It was going viral. He claims that he was like, let me put y'all on to this fish sandwich. So he's telling his followers again, many of them walk around like this. So that's all they see is Darius Crooks. They don't know nothing else that's going on in the world. The reality, all they see is his gaslighting and his love bombing. And so he's, he supposedly puts them on, well, he puts them on to the RB fish sandwich. Many of them had never seen nobody talking about it prior to him. He then tries to take credit because now they're selling out. People are talking about it. It's on social media, et cetera. He's now got his followers thinking that he's the reason. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. This is another story I, I was this close to covering. I was like, oh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> But he had them thinking that he was the reason the Arby's fish sandwich was selling out across the country <laughs> because he was the first person they saw. However, truth be told, their sandwich fish sandwich sells out was selling out every sells out every year. And it's a seasonal thing. And it was Lent. <laughs> is he also Jesus? Is he is he? Is he God? Is he Christ-like? He's definitely in Christ-like. Is he now? Is he the Messiah? <laughs> what? So they are now. Then he tells them he went as far as to tell them. And I got it. Now, y'all know I got it. I just I got it. We ain't going to take no more breaks. He goes as far as to uh, post for them to spam Arby's, the cor corporation, like on social media, to, and he was like, y'all, I never asked y'all to do these sort of things, but can y'all hit up Arby's and uh, basically try to get an endorsement deal for him from Arby's? Arby's ain't going to take, 
touch you with a 10 foot pole once we <laughs> once we show them what we got. All, all these people who know your truth and expose you. Good luck with that. So anyway, Arby's and, and so his flying monkeys. Oh, my God. What you want us to do? Did it again. And then he had some that were workers, which was really odd to me. Uh, one, well, I'll say one was a worker who took a picture of her working at Arby saying, you sure got our sandwiches selling out. What? <laughs> oh, you got to love it. You got to love it. They're so delusional. So Arby's then responds with a tweet saying, no need to message us. We see. <laughs> Have you seen an endorsement deal from Arby's? Yeah, no. So what I saw later was that what Darius Crooks did, in fact, is what he always does. Because he does have a larger platform than most, he'll pay attention to smaller influencers, grab something they're doing. This is, again, with his ple plagiarizing and, and all of that comes in at. He'll grab something they're doing because no one is seeing it because they're smaller or not a lot of people. He'll take it as his own and then present it. And because he's larger... And he, of course, got attention first from a larger um, uh, amount of people. People assume he's the first person doing it. Same thing happened with the Arby's thing. When I looked back and I was doing again, because I was this close to doing talking to y'all about it. This close. So y'all got to stay in my ear and be like, don't keep your foot on his neck. I've been seeing a lot of those comments lately in the comments. Just keep reminding me, keep your foot on his neck and then y'all will be getting this stuff. So I was this close to cover. So I had pulled some stuff. And one of the things I was able to pull is even before Darius Crooks even mentioned the fish sandwich to his followers, weeks prior, I want to say like two, three weeks prior, there were people all over social media posting about the sandwich and how good it was and da-da-da. It was already taken off. And this is uh, like a little social media behind the scenes um, or tip, is when you're trying to grow your platform and, and, and get clicks and views and jump on viral moments, the key is to jump on when it's starting to rise and then if you do that then you hop on that rise and you, you know you hit the peak if you wait until it peaks it's too late it's now going to start going down you're, you're not going to get all that all all the impressions etc he knows this and so that's what he did he saw the smaller influencers or whatever videos wherever he caught them at he'd be on tiktok and stuff and he took that idea ran to Arby's and like, oh, y'all, this sandwich was so good, y'all. I'm gonna put y'all on to something. Not saying I saw this somewhere, blah blah blah. Um, that ain't even on this. <laughs> Thank you for that, Marianne. But this ain't on the list. Let's let's stay on topic, y'all. We gotta we gotta get out of here. Okay, so then our last two. So then we have uh, what was that? Uh, uh, May was have we? I did talk about this, but I haven't gone as in depth on this as I planned to. So we have the cookware line that mysteriously hits eBay and, oh, I'm forgetting the name. Y'all let me know the names of the stores that these uh, his cookware line is now into. Not because of him now. Let me give clarification. Darius Crooks ain't doing a Tabitha Brown where her stuff is in Target and, and uh, Alta Beauty and all of that. This ain't what we're talking about. We're talking about Darius Crooks lost his, um, he had a shipment coming in from Asia or wherever. And from Alibaba, which is where he um, buys everything. And then he just brands, he puts his logo on it, but he's not the manufacturer, et cetera. It's like the Amazon of everything, basically. and But you can brand things through them. That's, that's what they are. And everything is made in Asia and it's shipped over here. So and you buy it in bulk. And so that's what he does with all of his cookware, everything from the skillets, the, the utensils, all the stuff you see coming out. It's all coming from Alabama. You can buy it yourself about 600 percent cheaper than what he's trying because he marks up everything about 600 plus percent. That's why he can do those deep 60 percent off sales and all of that, because he's still making a killing off his flying monkeys. So um, all of a sudden, his stuff is all over um eBay and all of that and now in stores where you can buy it and they're like at a fraction of a call. Y'all see I'd be so tempted to like dig deep because <laughs> I was about to say let me pull up the images of the difference in pricing. So his skillet for instance he sells for a little over a hundred dollars I think a hundred or hundred and twenty dollars 
The skillet is like in the stores for $20, that kind of thing. So what it was, was that he, um, if any of you follow him, you know about skillet gate where people weren't getting their uh, skillets. And he kept saying it was on back order. Oh, oh no, he was saying the container ship, the issue they had was shipping with that container ship that shifted in the canal and ships couldn't get through, et cetera. He used that as the reason why the stuff wasn't coming in. The truth is, for some reason, now this multi-million, multi-millionaire, so he say, didn't have the money to pay the taxes at customs and to pay to get that, uh, to get his shipping containers for them to release them. Maybe he didn't know he was going to have to, you know, up, up all that money or something all at once. I don't know. But long story short, they, I guess, hold that stuff for a certain amount of time and then they auction it off. His stuff got auctioned off, which then lets you know that he's gaslighting about his amount of wealth. Because if you're multi-millions, you're not going to let your stuff get auctioned off. You got the money. It gets auctioned off. We started seeing it on eBay like last year sometime. Then all of a sudden it hit these major like big uh, retail stores. Ollie's, thank you, uh, Nicole Driver. Right, Ollie's, we don't have that uh, here in the um, in the mid, well, at least where I'm at, in the Midwest. Um, but Ollie's, so I'm hearing uh, Vipu, uh from all over the place saying, those of you who have, uh, <clears throat> those of you who have Ollie's in your area have said they've seen them there. Um, and, and then eBay, and there was some other website too that has like a, a Facebook page. And so they're selling not just the skillets, it's the skillets, it's the, um, it's the uh, slow cookers and all kind of stuff. All his stuff is now in those stores. Yeah, he still sells them on his warehouse. So one of the D-Hags got wind of that information and mentioned it in one of his live streams and said, hey, why is your stuff on eBay and, and at in Ollie's now? He says... You know, I don't manufacture this stuff. I don't know, um, you know, that I, I use a, a, a third party and, you know, they could do with that stuff what they want to do with it. What? That's supposed to be your brand. That's supposed to be intellectual property. That's supposed to be your copyrighted logo. People can't, no, they cannot just do that. But if you didn't pay your bill and they had to uh, confiscate and auction off your, your uh, container, Yes, I could see that happening. So he plays pleads ignorance with that. That's but that's what he he'll do all the time. He'll plead ignorance with a situation when he really gets caught up. He'd be like, I don't know nothing about that. I ain't heard about that. Now all of a sudden you don't know how your products and you seem unconcerned that your products that you're upcharging six hundred percent plus and are supposed to be um, exclusive to your website. You don't care that they're all over the U.S. And all over eBay. What? That don't even make sense. What is Turn Seven, Don? Is that a store? I never heard of Turn Seven. So I guess I I guess you is that a store? So I guess they're a Turn Seven too, maybe if that's a store. Um. So yeah, so <laughs> that was, and that's in short. Again, I'm giving an overview. And then of course we have June. So, uh, and that's you know the him outing the guy that just happened. We ain't even done with the month, so there'll be well. And I just gave y'all another story just from this weekend of him uh, dragging the soul food restaurant. Although you're supposedly uh, all for black owned businesses, and then I see him I, I, again. I was we'll see if I get around to it, but eventually I will. But um, all the black owned businesses that he's dragged over the years, I can't believe this live is going as long as it is because I thought I was going to be out of here in like an hour and a half. Uh, okay, so I'm going to read the comments and then we are getting out of here. <laughs> See what y'all be doing to me? Uh, thank you, Don. Okay, uh, Turn 7 is a store, so it's also in Turn 7. That means it's a lot of product out there. Because y'all know, if it was just, I feel like it's probably more than one freight container. He took a picture years ago, not year, like a year ago, of like four or five freight containers with his uh, boxes and they seem to be like the trucks were full to the to the rim and it makes me wonder if all four of those or five of those trucks are what we're seeing in all these stores nationwide because that's not just one truckload of stuff y'all uh, let's do a poll do you think it's yes one truck 
load a product out. Do you think the stuff now we're telling you this stuff is nationwide on eBay, another website I can't think of. Uh, it's some who is that? Uh, a of uh, 520, those 40,000 skillets spread out exactly. Plus, though, like 40,000 skillets plus the slow cookers and all kind of other stuff. Uh, again, I, I did a live a while back, weeks ago, or whatever it was, um, that uh showed that so. How does your stuff get out there like that? It's just crazy. But and the crazy part is they're still the D Hags, flying monkeys, still over there paying him an extra 600 percent But that's how you know that it's not about it's really a fandom going on over there. It's about the love bombing. It's really just to be able to touch the hem of his garment. Uh, and then the ignorance, the, there are those who just are ignorant and don't know all this other stuff is happening. Um they're just oblivious to it. We got 95% of y'all who says you uh, you don't think it's just one truckload of product out there. I, I mean, I'm I'm curious of the 5%. What, why would you vote that you do think it's only one truckload? Because one truckload cannot service um, Ollie's, which seems to be a department store, like a Marshall's or something is what I'm gathering. Um, and and there are multiple locations because I've seen multiple people telling me that they just seen it at their local Ollie's. On top of that, again, there have been people on um, <laughs> there have been people on uh, eBay and all kind of other websites. That stuff is all over the place. So that's more than one truckload. And I see that uh, that number increasing. I, I'd be interested in some of uh, the outliers. Why, why y'all uh, what, what your thinking is behind those things. Uh, I bought. Uh, I bet his voice is high and whiny. Uh, Lord better sell those Ivy Baba pots. Okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Uh, so today there was a uh, Saint Center uh, talking about the story today or post he made uh, saying he's talking about he went looking for it and couldn't find it. And it was nothing but a throwaway iPad and a $200 speaker. So supposedly Darius Crooks is saying today his luggage was taken. He said he believed by accident uh, he was flying somewhere. His luggage was taken. Uh, he posted a picture of where supposedly it's pinged to have been at. Uh, thankfully, he didn't put the people's address out there. He claimed that I think he and the police went door to door. No one is claiming that they have his luggage, but he said it was not a big deal because I'm like, not a big deal, but you got the police and went door to door. If it wasn't a big deal, you wouldn't have bothered doing all that. But again, the gaslighting. So he says uh, it was nothing in the luggage except for a throwaway uh, iPad and a $200 speaker. But again, if it wasn't, a, and then he was like, oh, I'll just go get a new one. If it wasn't a big deal, you wouldn't have posted all that. Or you would post it, but you definitely because you post everything for engagement, you definitely would not be going uh, door to door with the police because it, it's no big deal. It takes more effort and stuff to do all that. Hold on, y'all. I'm just skipping down to. Oh, some of these are older, I think. <laughs> uh, Kim fashionably is saying his food is canned, uh, canned as well. You're right. Um, when, uh, so his followers were dogging the, um, food at the restaurant from, from the plate, the pictures, uh, that he posted and they were talking about how it looked like canned food, et cetera. And Kim is reminding us that, uh, or them that his food is canned as well. He, he talks about how he shops for cheap groceries and all of that. And then charges overcharges them for it. Vel, are you going to talk about Mexico? I don't know what that means, sweet diva. Um, I don't know if that's some new information. I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm trying to see what comments. Uh, why lie to me? He caught the fish. 
<laughs> right, uh, Nicole Driver. Everything is Crook's idea. Like, if you really listen to him and over time, like now, I really just have so much stuff. And uh, once I get my uh, assistant situation together and, and a, a crew that can work on some of this stuff, uh, I'll be able to put this stuff together. You'll really, really see the narcissism and delusion in full uh, effect. He lacks emotional maturity. Absolutely. I think it definitely has a lot to do with his uh, upbringing, uh, the damage that was caused to him, the trauma that he experienced, whether uh, self-inflicted or not. But the trauma he he experienced at, at a young age has really caused a lot of damage. And he's just wreaking havoc and a menace to society. And he's he's playing out that uh, trauma daily. It's it's really crazy please love on y'all kids please and and or children around you even though he had people loving on him but he needed that love from from uh the people who birthed him uh he treasures a good amount of these family-owned places they should all uh respond to him and let him have it yeah the problem is they don't have a large enough platform um brand pam to really um have an effect really uh, because actually I just mentioned that story, but uh, I don't know if I've finished that part yet, but in the, the stuff I'm working on for y'all coming soon, um, there's other stories. So we had the story of what was that a week or two ago, he ended up at a waffle kind of place again, black on black on business. He then got in, created drama with them or got into some drama with them. He wasn't impressed with the food. If I'm not mistaken, I know he wasn't impressed with the food. He claimed he went to the wrong place. Um, and then the, uh, somehow he, he, he was dragging them for like the service, the place or whatever, like the food wasn't that great. But then, um, somehow got into the drama of, supposedly and i think they must have said something back then he got into the drama of them having an ex business partner or an associate who claims that they stole her intellectual property and opened up this new place etc cetera, etc cetera. then he dragging the people and putting that out publicly because some lady uh commented good i'm glad you did that to them because uh the, the woman i guess was her friend i think it was a husband and wife team the woman, the wife was her friend or something, did something to her, well, stole this idea from her or something. And he's now blasting that again on social media to his thousands of followers. Why are you in the business of the drama of a restaurant you're just supposed to be reviewing? And now you're spreading the drama between the owners and former business partners. Why are you doing all that? For one, why are you dragging the business in the first place? Not a good human being. Again, emotionally uh, immature. Uh, his emotional IQ is like zero. Uh, it's like he feeds off hurting people. He does. He absolutely does. Again, it's him trying for some reason, again, and I'm not a psycho psychologist or anything, but from the outside looking in, it really looks like the hurt and trauma that he's experienced because he experienced it. And I guess nobody protected him in a way. He feels like it's OK to invoke that same pain on other people. The problem is he throws rocks and then has his hands. So his flying monkeys followers, D hags, thinks that he's innocent. They buy that narrative that everything that happens to him and around him is because of everyone else, because that's what's in his mind. He repeats it. He gives out false narratives. He makes the, he creates the narrative, as he says, he gives out these false narratives and constantly is on that IG live giving them this false image of who he is to indoctrinate them so that when people do speak truth to him, like Russell Simmons, we were just talking about that, like Russell Simmons, when people do speak truth to what he's actually doing, those people have a hard time believing it because they like, Oh, I can't believe this. We see, we know him. Well, he talked to us every day, all day. We go to bed with him. We wake up with him. Yeah, that's him indoctrinating you. He's brainwashing you. And they don't see it that way because they're laughing and giggling. 
through being brainwashed. They don't understand how entertainment and brainwashing can go hand in hand. <laughs> Do a little, a little study and a little research. Uh, educate yourselves. Or just be, you know, blind followers. It's fine with me. Don't bother me none. Uh, I'm not following behind no millionaire selling pots. And <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. I get you. Uh, Tatum uh, Bam Native says he definitely knows Keith Lee, just like he knows Tabitha Brown. He copies everybody. Ooh, uh, yes, I agree with you. I also plan to double back and do the Tabitha Brown thing because uh, I mentioned some of the stuff with Tabitha Brown and him. However, Tabitha Brown stopped following Darius Crooks. I was wondering for the longest time, why is she following him? She must not know. And she has officially, well, it's been a while now, but she unfish, officially unfollowed him. And I'm trying to figure out timelines and stuff, but I would be interested to know, is that when he tried to come for her restaurant? Actually, that wasn't on here. That should have been on the calendar too. Because he tried to come for, um, I'm going to have to do my own calendar. <laughs> he tried to come for Tabitha Brown and her restaurant being closed. Well, really, it was um, the restaurant is closed, but she was it was a business partner. She was in a business. Uh, it was a partnership. So she wasn't really running. She ain't like him. She wasn't there flipping, uh, uh, dropping chicken, uh, dropping, um, um, what do they call it, tofu. <laughs> she wasn't dropping tofu uh, in the deep fryer. But anyway, he tried to come for her. But I was wondering, ooh, is it that he was comfortable trying to come for her and trying to get his uh, flying monkeys to turn on her because she finally unfollowed him? He's very sensitive like that. Uh, Pretty Kitty is saying exactly. He thinks if he pays, he has the right to trash the restaurant right. The fact that the owner tried to make things right tells you who was in the wrong. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, things can go wrong in restaurants. He, again, and I think if he was a healthy human being, these interactions would be totally different. A healthy human being who's been, and I've, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been a serial entrepreneur a long time, 20 years. And so I, because of that experience, have a level of empathy and sympathy for other entrepreneurs because I'm a healthy human being. I'm a caring human being. You would think him being in that position, if he was a healthy and, hum and, and a caring human being who had multiple restaurants, who all got closed due to poor service, but also ultimately because the state of Georgia took the business license, had F um, ratings, uh, food and sanitation ratings, the health department, the health department, even if the restaurants hadn't had their licenses taken, they were about to be closed due to uh, constantly failing health inspections. So the health inspector was also after those businesses. So you would think if you were a person who had those sort of experiences in running restaurants, that you would definitely have sympathy for some of the petty stuff that he goes in on other restaurants about. Hence, you know, the, the service that wasn't that great uh, that he had with Juanito. And and then, you know, this this uh, weekend with uh, a dirty plate and, you know, hair in the food is not good. It's not healthy. All the good stuff. But you would think he would have more sympathy. But that's just not he's not a healthy human being. OK, we only got a couple more and then we're going to get out of here because what? Yeah, we had three, two hours and 30 something minutes. Um, why he acting like he don't know the difference between a dang moth or a grasshopper so extra? Uh, he's afraid of bugs, so I honestly think he might not. <laughs> I got a clip of that to him <laughs> when like a fly or something came in his kitchen. <laughs> he's a punk. He's bitch made. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, why do they even allow him to record in their restaurant? Why not say they are not comfortable and escort him out? Well, you're asking for people to be confrontational uh uh to C. most people are not confrontational like that in addition he does not ask permission they i don't know how much of the recording they noticed or saw etc cetera, etc cetera. uh again there was a young person at the ca uh young cashier not sure if that's the same person who took his order but she didn't know enough to not even charge him when he was complaining about the food and did not touch it so if she didn't have enough um 
experience and maturity to know that she definitely ain't gonna have enough to, to for that uh to be saying please don't record us you know da 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 this and that um and that would have got them drug too the truth of the matter is who we're talking about was gonna create content out of that too and have the flying monkeys agreeing and probably calling and harassing and doxing the restaurant that's just how he wrote Uh, Brand Pam saying it's always got to be high. He was depressed uh, <laughs> over the pain. Right. <laughs> oh, I forgot about JW. I, for, I This one probably is deeper in my archives because I forgot about this one completely. He does have also a dating profile that says um, hit me up on. Oh, he hit you up on Facebook dating and his profile says raw is law. Uh, yes, I forgot. I saw that one. I have it somewhere in the deep in the archives. Yes. Also, raw is law. If y'all don't know what that means, that means uh, no, no safe um, intercourse that with strangers for hookups. He don't want the safe uh, interaction. He said that I didn't. He got that. It's out there in writing. I'll bring it to y'all one day if y'all want to see it. Uh, he won't be able to handle his karma. A million percent. I think that is the best way to end this live. I agree a million percent that uh, when that karma come, woo, woo, um, and many of us will get to see it. So with that, um, thank you all for joining me. Sorry to take y'all this late, but y'all know how y'all y'all get me going. And y'all y'all know I just got so much information on this uh, Darius Crookson thing. Then we get to talk about scammers and all that. We got another story too. Um, I'll be back this week. We, we're going live again this week. Probably I might get y'all two more lives this week. Hang in there. And then I'm going to clip this down to shorter highlights for those of you who couldn't last or, or want to see it again and all that. So with that, I'll probably take tomorrow off, though, because I need to catch up with some things. So maybe uh, what's so maybe Wednesday we might do. Yeah, most likely Wednesday. But anyway, with that, uh, have a great night. I'm going to send y'all out with uh, this um, trailer. And um, until next time, y'all uh, sleep well and Peace. Turn you to a dog like a keto yeah. And expose to a cat like a cheetah like They smoke my partner like reef Dime lo porque o no And then you know me gente must really need Jesus They shed real blood I never seen a crypt and I believe it It's too easy Too Too easy I can do this with my eyes closed It's too easy Too It's too easy I can do this with my eyes closed Y'all just talk, don't live it And just took that route, that scene it And I'm so outspoken like reason Jimmy Neutron, boy, young jeans And I'm a self-made man
Ayy, poppin' like I ain't post to Watch out for the people that ain't close to Speak a little something you could toast to I ain't tryna hear about what you won't 